Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a new Card Fight Vanguard video for you guys today, and it is finally time to play some Dragon Empire. And we've got it in Card Fight area. Faded one of unparalleled Var Vargra Varga Dragress. <laughs> uh, they finally put him in the game. Took a, a little bit longer than I was hoping. I was hoping to record this yesterday, but we've got all the support. I'm gonna run through some of it, and then we're gonna go jump into a game. I'm gonna talk fast, so please excuse me. So for our ride line, we've got Blade of Fervor, Elder, which we could have started. Didn't matter, we could have ran any starter. I just really like the design for this one. We've got Blaze, Blaze Ember Dragon. Oh, Blaze Ember Dragon, I get it. So when this unit is rolled on by Boulder Axe Dragon, you call it to the rear guard and you soul charge one, same as the Keter Sanctuary Grade One. During your turn, if you have a Grade Three or Grade F Vanguard with Varga in its name, this unit gets plus 2,000 power. Literally the exact same as the Grade One in Keter Sanctuary. Boulder Axe, though, this is where stuff gets spicy. When this unit is rolled upon by a Grade Three with Varga in its name, call this card to the rear guard. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have a Grade Three or Greater Vanguard with Varga in its card name, this unit gets 5,000 power and until until at the end of that battle. And then at the end of that battle, retire this unit and draw a card. That's really, really good because of the way Varga Dragus' skill works. So you could swing with this guy first, get a draw, ditch it, and then you don't have to worry about the negative effect of Varga Dragus, which is auto Vanguard once per turn. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, Counter Blast 1, retire all of your opponent's front row rear guards and all of your and your opponent's, I'm sorry. And this unit gets plus 10,000 power until end of turn. At the end of the battle, stand this unit with minus two drive checks. Then it's divine skill is at the end of the battle this unit attacks a grade three or greater unit if your opponent's damage zone has four or more cards this unit and this unit has attacked two or more times this turn counter blast one stay in this unit and it gets plus two drive on okay this skill is extremely strong and surprisingly balanced for one it's got a ridiculous amount of restrictions on it so you can only use it if your opponent's at grade three or greater so you can't rush your opponent to four damage and try and do it before they even get to grade three First off. Second off, they have to have four damage, so it's not like you can, you know, swing at them at three damage and hope to hit, hit triggers, because you do get your twin drive back, which is also crazy. And you have to already have attacked twice. And since both skills cost a counter blast, you need a counter blast two to be able to use it. So like I said, this skill is surprisingly balanced, and it is once per game. Also, big thing, this is a hell of a finisher. I love Bob Sagra. If you guys have have seen any videos on the channel, there's a lot of Bob Sagra videos. That's my main right now, and I love her. But her biggest thing is she does not have a finisher. The closest thing she has is the axe or the gun, and both of them are mid at best. This not only has a strong skill, but that skill, that divine skill, is 100% a finisher. Uh, trigger lineup, we're going 7 crit 4 draw as we want to be able to draw as many cards as we can, at least until we get a feel for how much the deck already draws. Uh, 3 PGs, 1 Elementaria. We're running Dragon Monk Gojo. Uh, when it boosts a when this unit boosts a Vanguard and hits, you retire this unit and you get to counter charge 1. The deck is pretty counter blast heavy and we want to be able to make sure we can counter charge because unfortunately, unlike the Keter Sanctuary uh, unit, uh, Rizale, this deck did not get any built in counter charge. Uh, another new unit, where this one I don't really like, but we're trying it out for now. Uh, if you have a Great Theory Greater Vanguard with Varga in its name, this unit gets 5,000 power, 5,000 shield. So if you block with it, it's a 10k shield, and it's a, either 13k booster or attacker, not bad. This one, there is a Keter Sanctuary equivalent, which is actually better than this, but this isn't bad. Uh, during your turn that this unit boosted, if you have a Great Theory Greater Vanguard with Varga in its card name, this unit gets 5,000 power. So it's a 13k booster. Uh, either the Rayguard or the on this when it's boosting a Rayguard or boosting the Vanguard when this unit boosts a great or greater Vargra though in its card name this unit gets an additional 2,000 power and until the end of that battle and then at the end of that battle you can soul blast one retire this unit to draw a card a lot of one for ones in this deck we're playing Brachio Force on hit retire it retire one points to draw a card this card has always been strong even though it doesn't gain any power a lot of people love to dump cards on this and we're, we're keeping to that whole theme of getting rid of your rear guards and then swinging with the vanguard. Uh, Steel build a dust storm Ethan. Again, counter charge. When your vanguard attack hits, retire this unit, draw a card, counter with charge one. With a restanding vanguard, an attack's going to get through. You can literally throw this guy in the background and in the back row, and whenever your vanguard hits, just use it. This card is probably the best card in the deck, minus the actual grade three. 
When this unit attacks, Energy Blast 2, this unit gets 5,000 power until the end of that battle. Choose up to one of your other rear guards with a different card name from this unit, and it gets when this unit is retired from the rear guard and put into your hand until it. I'm sorry. When this unit is retired from the rear guard, put it into your hand until the end of turn. So basically, you swing with her, you Energy Blast 2, she gains 5k. You choose your other front row rear guard. So when you swing with Varga Dragus, her. She, you're going to retire her and the other unit. The other unit bounces to your hand because of this skill. What happens with her is what happens in her second effect. Auto, when this unit is retired from rearguard, by the ability of your grade 3 or greater vanguard with Vigor in its card name, Counter Blast 1, call this unit to rearguard and it gets 10,000 power. Nasty. Automatic extra attack. But again, super Counter Blast heavy. Just to be able to use this in combination with Vigor Dragus, that's already 2 Counter Blasts. If you want to use the Divine Skill, that's 3. So, hell, if you have 2 of these, that's 4 Counter Blasts right there. But again, you're, the payoff is... Three, four, five, six, seven attacks. So four combo blasts for seven attacks is a hell of a finish. And then we've got this guy, uh, Abdurasi Grave Dragon. What a name! Uh, front row during your turn. If you do not have another rear guard with the same card name as this unit in your front row, this unit cannot be retired by card effects, and it gets plus ten thousand power. Solid. Especially with Varga Dragus, because you can actually save this guy for after swing with Varga Dragus to get triggers and put it on him. If you have a great three or great out uh, Vanguard with Vagra and its card name, this unit gets boost. Bam. So it's a 13, another 13k booster. Uh, I'm really liking the way the support looks, but I'm really excited to jump into a game. I haven't tested it out yet, but we're definitely going to jump in and see what it does. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, our opponent's picking. He wants to go second, and it looks like he's playing Mbaf Sagra. I think I'm okay with that. I kind of want to keep this hand. He's not playing Mbaf Sagra. Oh, he's playing He's playing Nirvana. Ah. Uh, I like I like all of this. You know what? We're going to keep this. Oh, I put that down. All right. Let's do this. So we're going to draw. Ooh my god, this hand is nuts. I can't believe I have to do this. But we're gonna ditch the heal trigger to ride. Get our energy crests. And pass turn. So that card that he showed is a promo that's actually for Nirvana and Buff Sagra. It's really, really good in Buff Sagra. I did a video on it. It's I haven't seen it in Nirvana, but I'm assuming it's pretty good to be able to call an extra dude. Speaking of which, now he gets to draw an extra card and he gets to swing at me. Not bad. Uh, we're just gonna go no guard. Bam. Alright, we get one damage. Now, oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to discard all my defense, but this hand is nuts. Uh, damn it. Okay, we'll, go, we'll, try, we'll try going offensive and see what happens. And now we get to call this out. And then skill, soul charge one. Now we're going to call and call. Now let's see what happens. We're going to swing with this. Cool. We're going to swing Vanguard. I thought I figured he doesn't want me to draw an extra card. But we're going to put all this over here. And this is definitely going to hit. And we're going to draw an extra card. Um, not enough. See, this is what I'm talking about. They love dumping cards to block Brachio Force. Was it really worth three cards to get me to not draw one? Like, seriously? There was no way in hell that was worth it. But, hey, we'll take those. We get a free grade two off, off of Boulder Axe. We're definitely going to use that. He's already overdressing. But look, he's, he's just mining himself so hard. He dumped three cards for what he just did. He just dumped another three cards. Well, one card for... One or two cards for that. Uh, we're going to eat that. We have a shield. That's fine. Do your thing. Uh, we're going to put that there because we can definitely go to swing at it. Oh, look. Bam. Go for it. Have fun. Uh, okay, that doesn't hit. That can die. Um, you know what? I'm okay with that.
with that. Here's why. We're gonna draw. Oh my god. Shit. <laughs> Do I want to discard my Persona ride? I feel like I need to start saving up defense. Yeah, we'll do this. All right. Ride. And Boulder X lets us call him out. By the way, them giving units that call themselves out to uh, Dragon Empire, like, that is so freaking awesome to me. All right. So we're going to throw 5k onto you. Actually, you're going to be boosting the Vanguard, so you get another 2k. And then, how do you work? When the shooting attacks the Vanguard, if you ever... You get 5,000 power swing at the Vanguard. Cool. So we're gonna go battle phase. And we're gonna swing at the Vanguard. Cool. Activate effects. Retire and draw. Effects. Counter blast one. Retire the front row. chosen <laughs> yeah that's uh that's pretty strong so bunk so yeah he just lost his, his whole front row all right twin drive one two -hoo. and we get a crit too oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> And then skill, we're gonna soul blast to draw an extra card, and then he's going to restand and swing again. Uh, and he had to eat it, and like just like that, he's at five damage. <laughs> but see, this is what this is what I'm talking about. A why about the divine skill is balance. In any situation, I just pushed him to five damage. Of course, I would have restood with the divine skill, but I can't because he was only at grade two. Like, if you get lucky, or if you're aggressive enough, getting your point to 4 damage is really, really easy by turn 2. And being able to have that Divine Skill ready to go would be absolutely bonkers, but they balance it up by forcing your point to be at grade 3. Like, that also makes it so that, that this card's actually a lot better. It's actually good going first or second. Going first, you already have a shitload of pressure. Going second, though, you have access to your Divine Skill as soon as you hit grade 3. I really like the design of this card. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure this is going to be the deck I'm going to main once all this support comes out. I want to see how he's going to recover from this because that was a bonkers turn. And then we have we have Persona Ride for next turn. His biggest mistake was dropping three cards to block a Brachio Force. Like, that was just not a good move. So that adds a, a card with uh, overdress. Actually, um, you can't do that. Oh, cross overdress or cross overdress, right, right? Which is good because Mirrors lets him draw extra cards and get a restand. Uh, 23. We're gonna guard that with 28. Easy clap. We have to be careful here because we don't have a lot of guard. We did have to dump a lot of guard on riding. Um, he's going to restand that. Um, we'll guard it. Unfortunately, we have to no guard the Vanguard. Shit, we might actually be in trouble now. Never mind, we're good. Uh, this is a 10k shield, so we're gonna guard with that. And then that's it. <laughs> All right. Maybe that card is okay. So now we're going to draw. Persona Ride. Oh, we got the good card. We got the... Oh my god, we got the real good cards. Oh, both of these are bonkers. Both of these are bonkers right now. Oh, yes. Um, how do I want to do this? Uh, we're going to call you here. 
gonna call you here. This turn's about to be silly. All right, we're gonna put plus five. Oh wait, did I not retire? Whoops. That was supposed to be retired last turn. So, all right, that didn't really change anything. So, yeah, we're doing it like this. Uh, you get 10K when you swing. No, it just gets 10K naturally. Wait a second, does it get 10K on both turns? Oh no, during your turn, okay. All right, so battle phase. We're gonna go 28 to the Vanguard. Uh, hold on, this thing's acting up. And then we're gonna energy blast two. Uh, which is gonna give choose one of your regards with a different card name. We're gonna give it to this guy. So if he gets retired by his own effect, we get to draw another card. Oh my god. No, he bounces back to hand and we get his effect off. That's silly. Alright. We're going to swing. Activate power up. Counter blast one. Retire, retire, retire. And then this calls herself back out. And she gets 10k. That is disgusting. And he no guarded, so... Uh, Heal trigger. We don't even need it. Uh, but we'll take it. He gets a draw trigger. And then... That's the end of the game. <laughs> but let's look at the rest of this turn real quick. So, we can restand. Swing again with an additional 10k. We don't get a drive check. But then we can use our divine skill. Which would be a counter blast one to restand again, to take swing again, to get a twin drive, and then we still have her power up effect is not once per turn, so we would be able to energy blast another two. I completely skip based it, but we should have used this when our vanguard hit, which would have drew us another card and counter charge one, so we actually would have hit that draw trigger. And then this guy still has plus 10,000. So if we had hit that draw trigger, we would have gave it to him. He would have been a 30, uh, another 38. Yeah. No, he would have been... F He's missing power. <laughs> He's supposed to have 10k from from himself and 10k from the uh, Persona ride. Like, that was bonkers. Like I said, our, our opponent made a huge misplay by guarding that Brachio Force with three cards in the beginning. But still, the offense of this deck is crazy. All right, guys, here's one more look at the deck. Again, this was a very first draft. This is my first time trying this deck out. This is not something that I've used multiple times. Uh, I kind of like this grade one, the fact that it retires itself because it makes way for Gojo, which also retires itself. I didn't realize how dumb good Shura was, but the way her effect is worded, it doesn't have to be retired by Vigor Dragus' skill to be able to bounce back to hand. So she is just more one for ones, more pluses. I'm double checking again when the unit attacks. Energy Blast 2, and this unit gets 5,000 power to end of that battle. Choose up to one of your other rear guards with a different card name from this unit. And it gets, when this unit is retired from rear guard, put this card into your hand. So with all these effects that retire themselves, they combo off of her. That is fucking insane. I am so hyped for this deck. Let me know what you, how you guys feel about this deck down in the comments. Let me know what you guys are trying out, messing around with running. I'm going to keep testing this. And when I have a final build, you guys will see another video. Until then, I can't wait for the next Divine Skill and the next episode, which at the time of recording, this should be later tonight. But if you guys want to check me out on social media, those links will be down below. That is it for me, guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.